Hey there, it is Tomster here on behalf of Indie Structural Productions, and yes, again we're doing some sanding. The reason why I'm doing sanding at this stage is because I'm getting ready to glue in the neck. And once I have the neck in place, it's going to be very difficult for me to actually sand the cutaways. Which, as anybody who has done this before will let you know, sanding the cutaways is a freaking pain because of all the end grain. You will have tons of scratches and it will take you forever to get those out. But yeah, just basically going through the grits, starting off with, I'm guessing 120, then working my way 150, 180, 220, and maybe not doing 320 just yet. So leaving it at 240, and then gluing on the neck, and then fine sanding everything later on. Now another very important thing to do is to check that I have the neck angle correct. So I take my bridge and with a saddle piece and then just a straight edge to try and see that my neck is actually sitting the way it's supposed to without having to use shims or anything like that. Just to avoid spillage of glue that I'm going to have to clean up later on, I'm just going to put some masking tape around the pocket so where the glue does splurge out I can easily just remove it by removing the tape. It's really that simple. Now, don't need too much glue. Um, I want to say a good amount, but too much glue and the surface won't be that great. Too little glue and it'll be too dry of a joint. So, yeah, it's mostly, I guess, common sense. I'm actually really happy with this neck joint. It already, at this point, is a very good joint, even without any glue in it. Um, well, I mean, right now it has glue, but before glue, it was already a very good joint. Now, you'd be surprised at how little of a gluing surface you will need for a neck pocket, because your neck is cupped basically between four different surfaces. There's the pocket bottom, and then there's both sides, and then the back. That's a lot of gluing surface. You don't need that much, which is ideal when we actually want to do a really nice heel carve. It works out pretty well. Now, don't need tremendous amounts of pressure, uh, just enough to get the neck to sit into the pocket as it should. Now once the glue is actually cured, it's time to go ahead and actually make that heel carve. So again, using a bunch of different rasps and my spoke shave, I get to round about where I want to be and then start fine tuning as I go. And of course using some low grit sandpaper as well helps out quite a bit. Funnily enough, this sandpaper is cut from a strip of sandpaper that is supposed to be on a belt sander. But hey, that's enough of me blabbering on uh, this week. Anyways, I hope to see you again next week. Be sure to hit that like button. It helps out tremendously. Uh, comment down below. I always love to read your comments and subscribe to see more. I'll be back next week again with a couple of new videos. So uh, yeah, bye guys.